What's up guys? We're back out here with Mitsuki! She's yes. still here! We're on day two of diving and we just came out with Jose again, of course. How deep are we right now? We're like, uh, probably like 30 feet. 30 feet? Hopefully we can knock some more fish off of Mitsuki's list. I don't know if you guys saw my last videos, but Mitsuki is visiting from California. She's originally from Japan, but she's here visiting us and we're trying to knock off as many Florida activities for her that we can fit into her, her stay. Yeah, so far so good. So Thank far you. so good. We went frog gigging last night. We stayed there until like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? We really did. Poking yeah. frogs. She was a frog catching those and then Jose, oh my god. <laughs> Jose was shooting them with a blow dart. It was so cool. <laughs> But the day before that, we got a few fish too. Yeah, we did, and then I actually got to try sashimi, a um, few species, and I still thought I really liked all of it. I yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah, we have some really tasty fish here. You, tr you, you uh, try the Jack Cravel, what do you think about it? Because everybody thinks here it's a trash fish. Yeah, so For you, a I Japanese person that knows sushi, I know. what do you think about Jack Cravel? So the way I know what they mean by it's a little fishy, so it has something like a tuna flavor, a little metallic tuna flavor, but like if you clean it really right, and you don't even taste that, like 5-10 seconds in your mouth, but if you keep chewing it, you get that taste, but you know, people eat tuna to feel the taste, and then like sardine sushi as well, kind of have that taste, and I like it, I do really like it. All right. So if we see some more, maybe we'll shoot them so that we have some more. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. We'll suit it up. Ready to jump in. See you in the water. One of my absolute favorite things to show visitors in Miami is the incredible array of sunken ships that lie just off our coast. There are over 500 shipwrecks from Miami to the Florida Keys. These shipwrecks aren't just really cool pieces of history, they also play an important role in supporting our local marine environment. Many of these wrecks have been deliberately sunk to create artificial reefs, providing a safe haven for countless species of fish, coral, and other marine life. It's amazing to see how these sunken vessels, once used for trade or even war, have transformed into vibrant underwater ecosystems. Whether you're a diver, a marine enthusiast, or just someone who appreciates the beauty of the ocean, these shipwrecks are a must-see when you're in Miami. Jose's patience and precision pay off as he brings a beautiful permit up from the deep. Permit are known for their speed and power, but Jose's skill is undeniable. This is what makes spearfishing so rewarding. Moments of pure connection with the ocean's most elusive game fish. Bringing in this permit is no easy feat, but Jose makes it look effortless. This fish is not just a catch, it's a trophy that tells the story of skill, patience, and respect for the ocean. <sighs> <laughs> Good job! Now it's my turn. Spanish mackerel are fast, but there's nothing like the thrill of the chase. I focus on its movement, timing my shot just right. The spear hits home on this small target. These fish may be quick, but today I'm quicker. Landing a Spanish mackerel is always a rush. Their speed and agility make them a challenging target. But that's what makes this moment so satisfying. This one's gonna taste amazing after being cooked in the oven tonight. Do you bleed it? Yeah. Do you want to go back in a two seconds? Yeah. yeah. Mitsuki's up next, and she's got her eyes on a prize a school of amberjack lurking in the water column. These giants are no joke. They're strong, stubborn, and always ready for a fight. Steadies her aim and fires. The spear hits hard and the amberjack is out. I dove down and noticed her spear tip didn't go all the way through, so I took a second shot in case this big boy came back to life. But we're not alone here. The sharks have caught the scent and are closing in fast. Out here, it's not just about landing the fish, it's about keeping it too. 
we quickly regroup, making sure Mitsuki's catch stays ours. This is where teamwork really counts. We hold our ground, fending off sharks with firm, confident jabs. It's tense, but we know the drill. We're not giving up this catch without a fight. Finally, the sharks back off. We make our way to the surface victorious. Mitski's amberjack is a monster, a true testament to her skill and courage. Out here, every catch is an adventure, and today, we've got one heck of a story to tell. <laughs> I saw He was. I saw he was still wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. And I was like, yeah, beautiful shot. Sajimi. Hi, Sajimi. This is my first ever Amberjack zombie thing. I'm so happy. Of course, the biggest. Uh, Biggest jack species ever, not even Yoto! Oh no, I can't wait to eat this thing. I'm so happy I stoned it. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Lala. Teamwork! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's a beast. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this thing is so beautiful! So guys, I think Mitsuki's in a good mood. Do you know why? Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Uh, that's the biggest uh, jack I've ever shot. Like I've never even shot Yoldo that big on the West Coast. Wow. That's and Lauren was looking for my girl, and I dove. She threw a slasher. I dove down. I saw a couple barracudas, but no, my girl was like, okay, never mind. I took the flasher, and I saw like nice size I'm a jack on my left. And then when I look around, just in case, and I see the right side, and the big ones came in. And I stunned that thing. Yeah. And it's here. Huh? Nice Good. one. Very that's, nice that's one. That's gonna be huh? the biggest I'm a jack I've ever. Like, that's, I will ever that's shoot. That's a great probably. one. And then the lemon shark right. came and started huh? harassing us. Oh my goodness, yeah. I tried to chase around, chase around, and while Lola was trying to bleed a fish, I'm too scared to bleed while I was a shark. Sorry, I'm like being a little bit. Too <laughs> Thank Most you. Most people would be. Yeah. Well, well, teamwork. Teamwork. Thank you. We did it. Yeah. yeah. Yellow jack fillet in salt water to wash the outside real quick clean looks so good i really like the color of fillets it's nice white beautiful. transplant it's beautiful it has mm. a little texture right very spicy Mm, a lot spicier than the um, And it has the like a crunchiness. One. Yeah, it does. Mm, mm -hmm. It's a lot spicier. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is baked Spanish macaro by Lolan. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> oh, she's going for banana. <laughs> She okay, loves she loves sashimi. Oh, so cute! All right, so tan. So <laughs> sashimi, she was sushi, and lobster sambal. Vacuum seal madness. <laughs> Every night, a <laughs> real exhausted. Every night, big fish problem. <laughs>